Would you share it with them? You can do so much good if you'll just learn how to crack the four key codes that keep your wealth vault sealed. Let us help you uncover the secrets of your personal wealth code. Each of us is different. Each of us has unique strengths and weaknesses that we each need to discover and utilize for our fastest route to prosperity. Let us show you the surest, swiftest, and safest paths. In addition to the real-life stories and code-cracking content, there is a hidden layer to this material. To make your learning more interesting and challenging, other secrets are hidden on the website, www.crackingthemillionairecode.com, where there are 101 unique puzzles, codes, and ciphers found to encourage you to think more profoundly about enlightened wealth. We encourage you to crack all the 101 codes on the website, but if you don't have access to the Internet, you won't miss any of the important lessons. Each message that you decipher will bring you one step closer to the prosperity that is awaiting you. Our goal is to inspire you with real stories, empower you with real systems, and motivate you with real cash to achieve enlightened wealth on the fastest route possible. Can you do it in 101 days? Well, we believe it's certainly realistic that real profit can be flowing into your life in less than 101 days. If not in 101 days, then an extra enlightened million in your lifetime is absolutely realistic. Two people can resist an attack that would defeat one person alone. A rope made of three cords is hard to break. Get a piece of paper and write down the names of 10 possible team members. Then contact them one by one until your team is formed. Are you ready? Now let's begin. Chapter 1. Why Enlightened Wealth There it is. Can you see it? It's the vault containing everything you have ever wanted. On the other side of the huge door to that vault, a lifestyle of abundance and prosperity, wealth and security awaits you. Behind that door is literally anything you want. But how will you ever crack the code to the vault? Around you it seems as if others have cracked the code to wealth. You can see them everywhere. They live in the best neighborhoods. They drive new, high-end cars. They work at jobs they're passionate about. They seem to be happy and balanced. Their children go to the finest colleges. They take exciting vacations. They seem to have smart, successful friends. They give time to charitable causes. They have time to do what they want with whomever they want, when they want. It appears that they have it all. How did they get it? Did they really earn it? Or did they do something illegal or immoral or unethical to get it? Aren't you as deserving as they are? Aren't you more honest, ethical, and hardworking than they are? A little voice inside you may be saying, Why do they have so much? It's not fair. Maybe so, maybe not. But if you focus on the unfairness of it, envy will consume you. Don't focus on them and what they have. Simply focus on your own vault and claim what rightfully belongs to you. Reality begins right now. Well, our reality TV show may not be quite ready for prime time, but reality itself starts the moment you finish this audio book and start to take action. We'll show you exactly how to turn your enlightened ideas into millions. Then at our website, www.crackingthemillionairecode.com, we will guide you on a step-by-step, 101-day -step, plan to your first enlightened million. This audio is divided into two completely different types of content. You'll hear real-life stories of ordinary people who cracked the millionaire code and created extraordinary fortunes from a single idea, often in the face of extraordinary challenges. They made millions and gave away millions the enlightened way. We hope their stories will inspire you and you'll learn how to crack your own personal wealth code. We'll show you how to overcome your personal fears. We'll show you how to gather an amazing team around you. We'll show you how to soul storm not one, but dozens of million dollar ideas. We'll show you an incredible, enlightened way to market your ideas. Some people make the process of cracking the wealth look easy. 
Others seem to struggle for a lifetime and still prosperity eludes them. Here is the way this works. There's an enormous bank vault filled with amazing wealth waiting for you this very instant. Unfortunately, there's no course in the educational system called Wealth 101. Very few of us are taught even the basics of money, how to make it and how to keep it. And yet there's more to wealth than just learning about money. Where do we learn the essential personal development skills of confidence building, time management, listening to our intuition? This audio is designed to show you how to crack your own personal wealth code. If you don't want it for yourself, then certainly you'd want it for those people on this planet who are less fortunate than you. By the way, you may soon be wondering why we use the number 101 so often. We believe that 101 is an enlightened number, and it served both of us very well. One of the most successful book series in history, Chicken Soup for the Soul, contains 101 heartwarming, soul-touching stories. Therefore, we'll use the number 101 in several different contexts throughout this book. Each of us has a certain destiny path. On that path are the lessons that we pick up like pebbles along the way. Perhaps there are a few more which you need to pick up before you are ready for your enlightened million. Just because you may want to become wealthy as soon as possible, or just because it's possible for you to make an extra million this year, doesn't mean you ought to do it. Perhaps your own personal enlightened million dollar idea, which is the one that you were destined to earn, is over the horizon a few years off. The concepts in this audiobook can be very helpful to you as you listen to this audiobook and log on to our website www.crackingthemillionairecode.com and follow the 101 day plan. How much time will this take on a daily basis? If you were part of an actual reality TV show, you and your team would be jamming 24-7. Since most people don't have the ability to sprint around the clock, we've designed the process to take a maximum of an hour a day. If you don't have that kind of time, then it will just take you longer to reach your goal. According to our rough projections, if you spread the assignments over 101 weeks, you would reach your million dollar goal in just under two years. If you choose to do them in 101 months, you will get there in about eight years. As they say, there's no such thing as an unrealistic goal, just an unrealistic time frame. Your own code cracking team. Before you launch into the work ahead, we'd like to ask you to share your goal with four other like-minded people. Ask four of your friends, family members, or associates a simple question. Would you like to become an enlightened millionaire? The five of you will form a team. Instructions on how to organize your team will be given later. For now, just imagine what it might be like to meet with a group of success-oriented people who would like to significantly improve their finances this year. The group could be local or virtual. Your meetings could be conducted face-to-face -face or by phone or via email with friends, relatives, or associates in other cities. What kinds of people do you want on your enlightened millionaire team? Think of people who are positive-minded, success-oriented individuals with a performance track record. You will be building a network that creates all your future net worth. Friendship equity is a precursor to all financial equity. To find four committed, dedicated, like-minded friends, you may have to share this with 101 people. That's okay. You'll find those few significant other people who can make a humongous difference to your success, significance, and future results. It may be hard for you to believe right now, but they are looking for you and praying for you to show up in their lives as much as you are looking for them. Encourage each member of your team to invest in a copy of this book. Have them read, underline, highlight, and discuss with you each and every insight, aha, an idea. We have tested this book and discovered that individuals who use this formula start to have money-making ideas. They instantly start attracting the right people into their lives to get the right results right now. Later, we will define this as serendestiny, where serendipity and your personal destiny come into easy and almost effortless realization. As it says in Ecclesiastes 4, 9 through 12, two are better off than one because together they can work more effectively. 
If one of them falls down, the other can help him up. The next book is Ultramind Solution by, by Mark Hyman, a famous doctor, who really revolutionizes the idea of treating your brain. Um, he basically says that your brain is connected to your body and everything from autism to depression to bipolar disorder to stress and anxiety everything can be healed or at least greatly improved by fixing things like your diet and hormonal balance and how pills are a lot less effective than we thought and they just fix symptoms rather than the problem itself, sometimes even exacerbating it. So again, really, really good read. The next book is Unshakable by Tony Robbins, um, talking about how to create financial abundance for the future, creating uh, an investment account based on index funds, and really showing you how easy and possible it is to retire a millionaire even if you never had a big income you know we're just saving a couple hundred dollars a month again life-changing book the next book is your brain on sex by stanley siegel also very profound the book talks about how we can actually heal ourselves through our sexual desires and fantasies and how to actually communicate that with your partner successfully and how it can make life much much better through using fantasies to understand how you're I'll put it this way he says that our fantasies originate mostly in childhood and things that hurt us like for example people abandoning us turn into fantasies of either um, us you know dominating people or us uh, being subjected to them or things like you know traumas like being abused lead us to wanting to having fantasies of abusing people or being abused ourselves and how we use these fantasies to to refer to people by their selected pronouns. So what that means is I can choose to be called um, Sarah Both Robbie. And if you don't call me Sarah Both Robbie, then I can actually find you. Or, you know, I can basically make up my own gender to be more correct. So I can, instead of he or she, I can be called Z or Zer or Xir you have to respect that and you have to um, to follow it you're compelled to say that or else um, for example if you're a business owner and one of your employees fails to refer to some uh, you know so-called by gender gender fluid um, unicorn type person you know you fail to refer to him as a Z so you call him a he of a Z, then you, your employee, employer sorry, could actually get fined up to $100,000 for um, doing that. And they say that, you know, you can do that, but you're not going to get in jail or, you know, it's just a fine, but you know what happens when you don't pay a fine. Um, the, it has to be taken by force. So the end result, if you don't pay it, is jail relive relive those experiences but from a place of power because uh, this is something that actually Jordan Peterson talks about uh, the guy who wrote the book Maps of Meaning there's been many many studies that actually show that when you enter into a stressful experience if you chose to enter it you're gonna use different parts of your brain you know different parts are gonna light up then if you react to the situation so for example there's a scary call that you need to make to your partner or your banker or you know to get a job 
And if you make that call by choice, you actually choose to face the fear and do it, the parts of your brain that are going to wake up are mostly related to um, exploration and bravery and uh, initiative. And on the contrary, if you are forced into that situation, for example, the you know that fee that you owe to the bank, now they call you and you have to deal with that thing you've uh, delayed because you're scared of it, now you're going to different parts of the brain are going to light up they're mostly related to trauma and resistance and fear and, and just kind of not being functional so this is why using sexual fantasies uh, allows us to experience traumas but from a place where you choose to um, to feel it and feel empowered again great great book really good book so the book map of meanings maps of meaning sorry um again extremely profound book he tears apart the very fabric of how you of beingness of uh what what is called phenomenology basically the study of subjectiveness and how you relate to the world and he argues that science is actually uh only able to teach us how things are not how things should be it's called uh, um, it's called creating an, an art from an is so basically taking what is and saying this because it's like this is how it should be but science can't really do that for us and he actually makes a really good case for how mythology was used to um, allow people to know how to actually act themselves in the world to carry themselves uh, so people didn't really know how the sun worked how the planet is you know biology things like that but they did know very profoundly how to act and he lays a really beautiful case and you see how he talks about things like socialism and communism which are ideas that are based on atheism and very extreme rational thinking and these ideas collapsed in just a few decades and led to uh, close to a billion people dying while ideas like uh, you know original Christian ideas are still here to this day so stupid ideas are not supposed to last <laughs> and um, again it's a really profound book on everything from uh, how you relate how reality works how, how you relate to things how to um, even have an argument with someone and not having it lead to destruction uh, the second the second the, the next one I think we're at like six is zero sugar diet the 14 day plan to flatten your belly blah 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 um by david zin 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 if i'm uh, correct um this book sorry it's david zinchensko david zinchenko sorry now this book is about uh as it says uh, zero sugar diet and while i'm not really big fan of the idea of not eating sugar at all it did in you know just 30 minutes maybe one hour of reading uh, completely opened my eyes to how much additive sugar i was getting and various negative repercussions for that so using because just because of this book i reduced my sugar my sugar intake in about half which makes it a lot easier for me to stay lean uh, makes me feel better and also again just long term it's a lot healthier and finally the art of the argument by stefan molyneux 
is a wonderful book from one of the last truly vocal yet wise philosophers. It's the wealth that was reserved for you from before you were born. The truth is that you are amazing just as you are. Be open to receiving abundance right now. You don't need to think that anything is wrong with you. You came into this world with all the necessary talent to open your own vault. Life will teach you some of the essential codes. Others will share with you shortcuts that will shave years off the process. But essentially, you're the only one who can open the door. You either figure out how to open it yourself, or it could remain forever closed. What if you're destined for a more abundant life? How sad it would be to realize too late that you could have lived a more prosperous, abundant lifestyle without sacrificing anything that you now hold dear. Your values, your health, your spirituality, your freedom, your friends and family. Here's a shocking thought. You could actually be healthier, happier, more spiritual, more friendly, and more free to be able to do more good for the planet if you learned how to crack the code to your own personalized wealth vault. Does it seem as if you've been locked out of your own vault? Did you blame someone else for stealing your codes? Or maybe you were just never taught them? Perhaps you weren't ready till now. Maybe you told yourself that you didn't deserve them. Or maybe after trying for years to crack the codes, you've just given up. In a dramatic experiment, some researchers placed a large fish in the middle of an aquarium with minnows to feed on. The fish fed to his heart's delight. Then, the researchers placed a glass partition in the tank, dividing it in two. After the pike had eaten all the minnows on his side of the partition, he could see the other minnows through the glass, but he couldn't get to them. He thrashed, he bumped, he bashed his body against the glass partition, but to no avail. He finally formed a belief that it was impossible for him to get to those fish. He stopped trying. Then the researchers removed the glass partition and allowed the minnows to swim all around him. He could smell them, he could see them, he could feel them, but he believed that those fish were no longer available to him, that they were forever locked away from him, that it was impossible for him to win. So he starved to death in the middle of an aquarium full of food. Everywhere you look, people are starving to death in the middle of aquariums teeming with food. Everywhere you look, people are blinded to the prosperity that surrounds them, deaf to the sound of opportunity knocking on their own front door, insensitive to the intuitive feelings that flood their entire being. This doesn't need to happen to you. There is no question that you were destined to be wealthy. One key to the code is understanding that this is not just ordinary wealth we're talking about here. We are so excited to share with you what we've written as a manifesto of enlightened wealth. I'm going to read one sentence and then Bob's going to read a sentence and at the end we're going to ask you to commit to the commitment of you becoming an enlightened wealth manifesto member. My manifesto of enlightened wealth. I believe that I have the potential to create a great enlightened fortune. I believe that wealth creation is a code that I was destined to crack. It is learnable, teachable, and easily transferable skill. It makes all other skills more valuable, useful, and profitable. I believe that almost everyone has millions of potential dollars in them awaiting the requisite stimulus, the enlightened spark. I believe that I have an abundance of enlightened million dollar ideas, seeds that can grow into fortunes. These seeds can sprout in the form of information, books, copyrights, products, services, inventions, licenses, plays, patents, songs, movies, franchises, business opportunities, TV shows, trademarks, processes, etc. I believe that my richest harvests may arise not from seeds of obvious opportunity, but from seeds of adversity. When I resolve my personal life challenges, others will reward me for helping them pull the weeds from their own adversity gardens of hidden wealth. 
I am coded within my DNA to solve and resolve an issue for myself and then to prosper with it by solving it for all others. I believe that I have been given unique talents. By using my total talents at their highest and best levels, I will be happier, healthier, and more fulfilled now, and my contributions will leave a lasting legacy. I believe that enlightened profits are the just reward for serving greatly. I believe that my time is best invested in creating residual income, where I work once and am paid infinitely. I believe my dream is more quickly realized by aligning myself with an enlightened team. As a team, we can create multiple streams of enlightened residual income. I believe that my ultimate legacy is to become an enlightened residual philanthropist dedicated to doing lasting good works of perpetual philanthropy. Now we would love you to sign this and if you go to our website you can download it for free. Otherwise just take a piece of paper and sign it because you're committing to yourself and higher power that this is going to be true of your future henceforward. A new type of wealth, enlightened wealth, how you earn it and keep it is dramatically different than the ordinary wealth we see, hear, think or read about. It is wealth with a capital W. The game of acquiring traditional small W wealth is about competition, the survival of the fittest, and the fight for the almighty dollar. Enlightened wealth is a totally new way of looking at money and wealth and prosperity. For starters, it's much more enjoyable, much safer, and lasts much longer than traditional wealth. Before we settle into showing you exactly how to open your personal wealth vault, let us lay down the foundation principles upon which you'll be building the skyscraper of your personal prosperity. Nito Cubain Nito Cubain is a visionary leader and a great philanthropist, benefactor, and humanitarian who multiplies his giving by asking others to share generously also. He came to our shores as a teenager filled with ambitions to live the American dream. He arrived from Lebanon with $50 in his pocket and no command of the English language. Yet he was full of hope. Each day, Nito memorized 10 words that he had written out on a 3x5 card. He exercised immense discipline to master a language that would become his ticket to fortune, fame and friendship, and a future that would make a significant and continuing difference in the lives of millions of people. Accepted by High Point University in North Carolina, Nito studied hard and worked 10 hours a day to earn his way through college. On graduation day, he was talking to the university president when he was informed that an anonymous donor had paid all outstanding bills for his education. Astounded, he wept, said a thankful prayer, and vowed to help others by becoming a generous and enlightened steward. He decided to give other deserving students a helping hand with their education creating the Nito Cubain Educational Foundation. The first year he gave a $500 scholarship to a student named Glenn Myers, who went on to earn a PhD. To increase the funding of his foundation, Nito started asking his friends and colleagues to each give $250 or more annually. To encourage their support, he vowed that 100% of the money would be used for scholarships and that he would not only contribute himself but he would personally pay all the administrative and other costs to run the foundation. Over 600 scholarships have been granted, and the foundation is still going strong. Nito began investing in real estate, starting by buying a duplex with 10% down. He always tithed, also saving 10% of whatever he earned, and lived inexpensively. In 1970, his own rent was $15 a month. He saved and he bought more real estate. After investing in American Bank and Trust at age 39, Nito became a board member, catapulting himself into banking prominence. The company grew, merged, merged again, and became the 10th biggest bank in America. AB&T now has over 30,000 employees. Nito learned on the job, becoming director on each of the new bank boards and learning from a great leader, John Allison, who is chairman of the growing conglomerate. Nito recommends that entrepreneurs get paid in stock options, assuming he or she has adequate cash flow to do so. That way one can defer taxes and pay at a lower rate on appreciating earnings. 
Nito also invested in a great harvest bread company and has led it to exponential growth in a time when low-carb and no-carb diets are the vogue. Reflecting his philanthropic philosophy, at the end of each day, the stores give away all of their leftovers to charity and start the next day making fresh bakery goods. As a professional speaker, Nito talks with great authority about sales, marketing, branding, business, leadership, philanthropy, and education. He has won every honor the industry offers, including membership in the National Speakers Association and Toastmasters International coveted Golden Gavel Award. As a businessman, Nito wants everyone to become fiscally literate so they know how to earn money, grow it, preserve it, become wise stewards so they can make a difference and leave a significant and lasting legacy.